What's up guys, South Ashraf here. Today we're going to be looking at Timu AirPods Pro. Timu, Temu, I think we all are quite familiar with what Temu is. It's basically this app where you can find things for extremely cheap and sometimes even for free. But we'll get into that a bit later on. For now, let's check out the Timu AirPods Pro. All right, so let's go over how they look physically first. So first of all, these are way, way lighter than normal AirPods Pro. The hinge does feel quite cheap because like, obviously you're basically getting these for free. The hinge doesn't feel quite, so it falls out. However, physically, if you look at the actual AirPods themselves, they don't look that far off from normal looking AirPods. I'm gonna be showing you some clips, but as you can see from here, these are my normal AirPods Pro 2s, uh, real AirPods Pro, and these are the Timu ones. And as you can see, they do look quite similar. The only thing which I could see is a bit different from normal AirPods is that the light on the actual Timu AirPods is much, much brighter than normal AirPods. Kind of blinding, it hurts when you look at it for a long time. Also, the way the light flashes, like if the battery is really low, it will just flash red continuously. That's not how normal AirPods work. The text at the back of the actual AirPods is a bit different to how normal AirPods also look. And the text that says designed by Apple in California, it is a bit off. However, apart from that, physically, if you hand these to someone who isn't looking for anything specific, these do look quite real. Then the actual AirPods, as you can see countless times in the video, the magnets aren't that strong. I mean, they're not that bad, but they're not that strong either. Now looking at the actual AirPod itself, it does look quite realistic. Again, this is made to resemble the AirPod first generation. However, the text on the actual AirPods is a bit very, very dark, like it's very noticeable. However, they do have all the vents in the right places. There is one missing vent However, apart from that, like I said, if you're not looking for anything specific, these do look quite genuine once again. The silicone tips, however, are quite hard. Like these may be hurting your ears after a long time. And they come off in some weird way. Like these are not how normal AirPods are supposed to look. All right, so design-wise, to be honest, how they look, I'll probably give it a seven out of 10. They do look quite realistic. However, build quality, easily a four out of 10. These are very flimsy and I'm scared I'm gonna break the hinge off of these. Like, as you can see, it flexes a lot. So let's talk about sound quality. Obviously, you're going to be wanting to use these on the daily. If you are only buying for aesthetics, you're still going to be using it. And the sound, well, it's, it's, it's terrible. I mean, you are basically once again getting these for free or about four or five pounds. But yeah, they just sound like you've put them in water for a very long time. You took them out again and yeah, these are how they sound. There is no transparency mode. Uh, there is no noise cancellation mode. The only mode there is, is just off. The sound just, it, it just doesn't sound good. It may hurt your ears over a while because it, 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 first of all, it's uncomfortable because of the weirdly shaped silicon tips. Second of all, the sound is just not good. Now some pluses I do want to give, these AirPods actually do come up on your iPhone as AirPods. They definitely do have that chip inside them, which a lot of companies do manage to somehow code in. So when you do open the AirPods next to your iPhone, they will come up as AirPods Pro. However, my specific ones come up with a message saying these AirPods Pro may not be genuine, which is what Apple are doing on a lot of AirPods to make sure that people know that those aren't real. But if you are genuinely buying fake AirPods, I guess that won't matter to you. They do have the noise cancellation transparency modes in the settings. However, none of them work. There's not even a beep to signify anything's happening. The battery life for some reason is stuck at 100%. However, it does have a battery life about one to two hours. So yeah, that's the Timu AirPods Pro review. I hope you guys enjoyed. And let me know what you guys think about these in the comments. If you guys do have these, how are yours holding up? So yeah, let me know if I should make any more Timu reviews or wish.com reviews. I don't know. I'm up, to, I'm up to those ideas. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.